keep your head held high, oh keep your head held high Life is like a mountain climb When it feels like you've gone too high So down and take your time, so down and take your time And keep your head held high When we get to where we're going Maybe this will all make sense We don't know what's coming but be sure We are not alone Don't give in, no, don't give up this fight For your joy and for your peace of mind You'll see the other side Just keep your head held high Oh, keep your head held high When we get to where we're going Maybe this will all make sense We don't know what's coming but be sure We are not alone
like you've gone too high So down and take your time So down and take your time And keep your head held high When we get to where we're going Maybe this will all make sense We don't know what's coming but be sure We are not Don't give up this fight For your joy and for your peace of mind You'll see the other side Just keep your head held high Oh, keep your head held high When we get to where we're going Maybe this will all make sense We don't know what's coming but be sure You're not alone
Hello and welcome to our New Street Church service today. My name is Sophie, I'm the lead minister for New Street Church and it's great to be able to welcome you. A particularly warm welcome if you're tuning in for the first time or just been joining us recently, it is really lovely to have you with us. We are going to be continuing our series today through the Psalms and we've come to Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 2 says this, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And we're going to open in a moment with a song of worship to God, praising him for his goodness and his faithfulness to us. But as we start, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that we can come today to worship you. We thank you that wherever we are and whomever we're with, that you are present with us. We pray that by your Holy Spirit, we would know you moving among us, that you would open our ears to your word and our hearts to your presence. May you be glorified in our time together today. Come Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. never fails me and all my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head oh I will see all the goodness of God so my like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God and so my life you have been faithful and so my is running after it's running after me yeah. your goodness is running after it's running after me with my life laid down I surrender now I give you everything your goodness is running after it's running after me oh yes So my life you have been faithful And so my life you have been so, so good oh, With every breath that I am made Oh, I will see of the goodness of God Oh, I'm going to see of the goodness of God and I will sing of the goodness of God I 
I'd like to just invite us to take a moment now off the back of that song just to pause and perhaps in just a moment of quiet to offer up a prayer of praise or thanks to our God who is good, who is faithful. Maybe we might just pause to remember that goodness. Almighty God, we thank you that indeed you are our faithful God. We thank you that this morning we come to you, our refuge, our fortress, our God in whom we can trust. Amen. In just a moment, we're going to have our reading and then Simon's going to speak to us. And then we've got a really special song from Matt. One of the things that we asked you to do as part of this sermon series was to really engage with the Psalms, to take them out and about into your day, to see what God might be saying to you through them. And the song of Matt's is a response to what God has been saying to him. So we're really excited to have that. But one of the other things that we'd like to tell you about is about the online Alpha course that we're hoping to start running in July. This is a great opportunity to bring our questions, to bring our friends, to bring those who we know who have been searching, particularly during these last weeks and months, to come to a point together where we might ask some of those big questions. So we're going to show you a video now. You might have heard of Alpha before. You may have thought of doing it before. You may have done it. It doesn't matter. If you're interested in doing Alpha with us, we're going to be doing it on Zoom starting in July. Then we're going to be telling you in the coming weeks more details of how to do that. And perhaps you might be thinking and praying about whether you might join or whether there's someone that you might bring. That's the challenge as we watch this video. Welcome to Alpha. Today's reading is taken from Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord... He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling place, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. 
you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. In Psalm 91 verse 2, the psalmist declares, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Now, I wonder what images spring to our minds as we think about trusting in God. Well, I'm sure you'll have others, but let me share with you three images that sprang to my mind. Firstly, that of a castle. Secondly, that of a parent in a swimming pool. And thirdly, that of a guide in the jungle. So firstly, a castle. Well, one of my favourite views here in Falmouth is as you drive along the seafront and see the impressive Pendennis Castle up atop the hill. And in today's service, Matt is encouraging us to sing out scripture. As we do so, we will be singing out that the Lord is our dwelling place, our fortress, our refuge. In verse 2, the psalmist says the Lord is his refuge and his fortress. And how much more can we also hold on to our refuge, our fortress, our dwelling place in these unprecedented times? Secondly, a parent in a swimming pool. Well, I was reminded of family holidays that we've had. Many of you know we have two young, very energetic boys. And at this particular destination, there's an indoor pool with the centerpiece of a fantastic water slide. It's not that big to you or I, but to little legs and little eyes, it's massive and daunting. Now, the boys did go down that slide, but only when my wife and I said that we would stand at the bottom and take turns to catch those boys and hold on to them for dear life. And timidly at first, but then with greater and greater abandon, those boys launched themselves down the slide, having a whale of a time, soaking us as they came flying to the bottom. But for sure, we held on to them for dear life. We were, in this instance, completely and utterly trustworthy. Now, the very first psalm we looked at in this series, Psalm 145, um, it contains the verse in verse 13 that the Lord is faithful to all his promises. And in today's psalm, Psalm 91, in the latter part, there are some great I will promises. I will rescue and I will protect, verse 14. I will answer, I will be with and I will deliver, verse 15. I will satisfy, verse 16. The Lord is trustworthy, dependable and completely faithful to all his promises. And I wonder which of his promises we are particularly holding on to at this time. Thirdly, the story is told of a group of jungle trekkers heading through the jungle following a local tour guide. To start with, the route is easy, the path is wide, it's clear which way to go. But as they get deeper and deeper into the jungle territory, the path narrows and narrows until it doesn't really exist and the guy just hacks a way through with his machete. One of the group calls out, Hey, what happened to the path? The guy pauses, turns, looks the guy in the eye and says, I am the path. Now, this analogy was brought home to me last weekend when Matt and I gathered with Glyn in a socially distancing type way um, for an early morning mountain bike ride. Glyn was our guide. He knew where we were going. 
He took us down lanes, up trails, onto roads, diving back through the trees this way, that way. There's another path, an unknown path to me. It was all unknown to me. But do you know, I really enjoyed the ride. And why did I enjoy the ride? Well, often when I'm riding, I've got one eye on the road, one eye on my boys, as is the case for Matt as well. But on this occasion, I was able to just sit back, enjoy the ride and trust completely in our guide who, I didn't have a clue where we were, but he brought us back safely to the car. Psalm 91 in the message is also great. And at the start of verse 14, it says, if you all hold on to me for dear life. Hold on for dear life. That's what the trekking group decide to do as that jungle path seems to vanish. Hold on for dear life. That's what we are called to do during these unprecedented times and as we come out the other side of them. So three images, the castle, the parent in the swimming pool and the guide. And I just want to take a moment to see which of those three might particularly resonate with us this morning. My God in whom I trust. Is it the first one? The God who is our refuge, our fortress, our dwelling place. My God in whom I trust. Is it the second one? A God who is completely trustworthy, dependable and faithful to all his promises promises. The God in whom I trust. Is it the third one? The God who is our guide, our lead, the one who is the way. Let's just take a moment to ponder which of these we may take with us into the day and the week ahead. Amen. Hey church, Matt here. Hope you're well. Have you ever had a go at singing over scripture? I would encourage you to have a go at singing over a psalm. Find a quiet place and find a particular passage that's really speaking to you and a simple melody and have a go at singing it out. I find singing over scripture is a great way to meditate on the words and let them sink in. So this week I've had a go at singing over Psalm 90 and 91 and looking at the theme of shelter and refuge and I've used these as inspiration of God being our shelter and dwelling place. Hope you enjoy. Have a great week and God bless. Bye.
pray this morning I'm going to be using the image of a rainbow the rainbow image that's been used to lift up the NHS over the last weeks and months and Lord in their ongoing struggle to help people um, suffering from COVID-19 so as we go through I'll be looking at each individual colour and lifting the ideas up in prayer let's pray Lord we thank you for that image of a rainbow the image um, of your promise to be with us and know us, Lord. Let's think of red. Red is for God's heart. As we think of red, let's thank God for his desire to know us, to be in relationship with us through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. His longing for us to live in unity with one another. Orange. Orange is for waiting waiting for things to get back to normal or perhaps the new normal. Let's pray for patience and wisdom. Yellow, remind us of the sun, of the warmth, of light. Help us to count the blessings you've given us, Lord. Help us to stop and notice the things around us that bring us joy. Green, for new growth. At this time of difference and change, Lord, help us to be open, to find new ways to bring us contentment. Help us be aware of others around us and their needs. Help us to find ways to fight injustices, both near and far. Help us to be brave, to be changed and moulded into people with more love for all humanity and all creation. Blue for peace. Bring us peace. Peace to trust in your promises. Help us to hand over our worries and anxieties to you. We ask that your Holy Spirit will come, help and guide us, Lord. Indigo. For people that are sad and lonely, Let's lift up those that feel distant from others at the moment, whether that is physically or mentally. Please comfort those who have lost someone recently. Let's just spend a minute 
giving people to you that need your comfort. Violet, we pray for people in authority to make wise and informed decisions. Help them to think creatively when considering all aspects of the pandemic crisis. The environmental issues, race issues and social justice. Lord, we pray that people and your creation will be valued over all things. Lead us, Lord, in this time of change. Bring wisdom, bring love, and Lord, bring hope. And from Isaiah 43, verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you perceive it? Lord, help us look forward. Look to do things differently. We ask that you will help us be aware and not necessarily fit back into the way things have been. But Lord, may this world become more true to your spirit, your love, your hope and your desire. Amen.
it now Oh, I can see the love in your eyes Lay yourself down Raising up the broken to Sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. Yeah. Whoa, I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can see it now. Oh, I. I can see the love in your eyes Laying yourself down And raising up the broken to And so we start to draw our service to a close. We're thrilled that you were able to be with us today and we do hope that through this service that you sense something of what God might be saying to you, you might have sensed something of his presence with you. A couple of challenges as we go from here. One is to take that Psalm, particularly Psalm 91 verse two, to take it out into the week and to see what new things God might show you to see if there is a particular word he wants you to hear at the minute. And if you'd like to share any of those stories, we would love to hear from you. Hello at newstreetchurch.org. And the other challenge is the Alpha Challenge. We would love you to be praying for the Alpha course. We would love you to be thinking about whether you might join. And we would love you to be sharing the links to the Alpha course. It's a great way to invite people, but to be doing that so that we have this opportunity to ask those big questions and in it to hopefully discover more of Jesus. But as we go today, let's just close with a moment's quiet and prayer. Almighty God, we thank you that you have been with us as we've been worshipping today. We thank you for the words that we've heard, the challenge. We thank you, Lord, that we indeed can go out into our weeks knowing you as our refuge and our fortress. We pray that you would help us to trust you. And perhaps in just a moment of quiet, you might cast your mind forwards into your week and perhaps there's a particular time or place where you really need to know the Lord's presence or you really need to trust him and just lift that to him now. Lord, would you help us to be trusting you? Would you fill us with your spirit Keep us walking closely with you. And may the Lord bless each one of us as we go about the rest of our day and out into our week. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's great to see you and we hope to see you again next week. Have a good week. Bye. Life is like a winding road. No one knows what the bend will hold. On the other side, just keep your head.